Hi, it's Alex. Today I'm wearing a hoodie because it's time for me to give you financial advice. Today I want to talk about how to reduce your long-term expenditures and increase your ability to build wealth by refraining from purchases that cause you to incur more costs later on. So, I think in general, anything that you can avoid buying that you don't need is going to be beneficial to you. But it's particularly useful to build your wealth if you can avoid buying things that cause you to spend more money. And so I want to give you some examples of things like this. I think the biggest types of purchases like this are big dollar value items. So for example, a car. Cars are pretty expensive, but they also have a great deal of maintenance costs. And oftentimes when people buy a car, especially younger people buying a car for the first time, they don't factor all these things in. So you have the cost of the car, and you might have like car payments if you buy it on a loan. But then you also have, it's small, but you have like registration costs. And then what gets big is insurance costs, costs of gas, and costs of maintenance, and things like that those can really eat up a lot of money in the long run. So if you're like a teenager or a college student and you're thinking about buying a car, look really deeply into those things and ask yourself, is this a good decision even factoring in those major costs? If you can delay or avoid buying a car, you can save a lot of money. Another big dollar value item is a home. Homes take up a lot of space and they have a lot of maintenance costs associated with them. You need to maintain the yard, you need to maintain the physical property itself. Now, I want to go on to smaller things though, because I think that that's what affects more people. So, small things. One smaller item that people don't often think of the costs of owning is furniture. Like, there's a lot of furniture in this room. There's this desk back there, there's the futon here, there's a desk in front of me, a chair, there are bookshelves, and so on. Now, this is all fine, but whenever I move, I have to move much of this stuff. And if I don't move it, I have to sell it or give it away. And all of those things cause me to incur costs. Like if I sell something and then buy a new item, I'm not necessarily going to get the full price back that I paid for the item. And if I move it, and I'm moving a lot of things, it not only takes effort, but I have to buy a bigger moving truck when I rent it, and uh, that costs more money. So that's another example. Smaller things that take up space, though, also cause you to incur costs. So anything like clothing that needs to be put in a closet or in a bureau requires me to own more furniture to store it, or to have more closet space, and that is going to cause me to need to either rent a larger apartment or buy a bigger home. And this is pretty much true across the board of all material possessions. Like, material possessions tend to cause you to incur costs, to own them, to store them, and to move them. So, if you want to build your wealth, one way that you can do this is by minimizing your material possessions. Anything that you have, that you don't use, that you don't need, that you don't want, get rid of it. And get rid of it now, rather than later. That will free up space, allow you to live more simply, and it will allow you to live in a smaller space more comfortably. So you will need to spend less money on rent. That is one of the biggest expenditures that people pay money on. And it will also reduce the cost and work associated with moving. And that's huge. So, also, whenever you're buying something, don't just think about what you're getting out of it. Think about whether or not it's going to cause you to incur costs in the long run. So, you can say, okay, I'm going to buy this thing, and I'm definitely going to use it, but ask yourself, is the amount of value I'm getting out of it greater than the amount of value I'm giving up by having it take up space? in my home, or wherever I'm storing it. And I think that when you start asking that question, instead of just asking whether or not you want the item, when you ask that question of that trade-off, 
you will find that there are a lot of items on the margin that you're maybe not sure of whether or not you want to buy that you actually don't want to buy when you think about it that way. And when you think like this, you will find that in the long run, it's much easier to build wealth because you will be living simply and you will be spending a lot less money on things like housing and moving and the maintenance and upkeep of items that require that sort of upkeep. So I hope you found this insightful. Please comment if you have anything to add. And as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.